we all know the amazing engine that Godot is. It's such a good engine that lots of people prefer it instead of Unity. Today, I want to do a quick wrap up of the main 5 reasons why people may choose Godot over Unity. 1. Open Source I will start with the main point that basically caused lots of people to start using the Godot engine in the last time. Basically, as Unity, its main competitor, start losing literally all the trust that it has due to a runtime fee that they suddenly implemented that will cost developers lots, lots of waste in terms of money. Then basically start using an open source software that would never have this problem as it is owned by the uh, community and it has no company behind, seem like the perfect option. Now, of course, this may not be something that actually makes the engine better or worse, but makes developer a little bit feel more relaxed about the situation because they never have to struggle with some kinds of fee, license, etc. So it overall it improves the experience of using Godot and of course the trust that it's behind. At the same time, this means that Godot has quite an interesting feature because it is trying to revolutionize the um, game development industry by releasing open source software that is super super good quality so who knows what will happen with closed source uh, softwares we're going to see what happens as time goes by 2. Lightweight Lightweight and unless uh, at least in without means two main things firstly it means that the engine is super fast when you want to create a new project or open an existing game, this loads with ease. Also, while you are coding and you are making changes to the script and then you want to compile them basically to be able to play the project, in Godot, you literally have to wait no time. And for example, in Unity, even if you just change one line of code, you have to wait uh, something like 2-3 seconds every time that you modify even something super little in order to be able to actually play your game. This is something that you may think that doesn't have a huge impact on the game development experience, but trust me that when you are thoroughly testing something out, trying a solution, etc., having to wait every single time is something that of course um, is quite, quite stressful and annoying at the same time. Secondly, lightweight means that it can be run in any device. I have personally been able to run Godot in a Windows 7 PC from like the 2000. It did never crash and I used it for something like a month when I went on vacations. And yes, it was amazing, okay, of course. Because there is literally no other engine uh, as powerful and as good as Godot that can run as fast as Godot and that um, it can be run in, in literally any kind of computer. Whereas, for example, in Unity, it is still a software that can run pretty well in a, in a PC that um, may not be a super high-end PC, but you still need to have good components inside of it. Because if not, it will take ages to open, create things, etc., to navigate through it, let's say. Or literally, it may even not open. 3. Easy. This is probably one of the main points for beginners, as it is one of the easiest game engines so far. Even though Unity is still easy to uh, get into and start using its programming language and interface, basically it's not rocket science, in Godot, thanks to its workflow with nodes and programming language a script that is super super easy to use and understand, you can get things done pretty quick, probably much faster than uh, the time that you would need in order to get things done in Unity when you are a beginner, okay? So Godot may, see, may, may be the, the most viable um, option to choose for somebody that is uh, trying to learn video games from complete scratch because the learning curve is amazing. Basically just two, three days of following one or two tutorials, you can actually get start, um, you can actually start creating your own games. Of course, in Unity, this is doable as well, but it may require a little bit more time um, and more brain on your end to actually understand how everything happens because it is a little bit or actually much complex than Godot. 4. Supportive Community 
We notice open source as we mentioned. This means also that it is being updated and maintained by the community. So imagine if uh, the engine is open source and it means that it must be updated by the community. And without is what without is basically one of the best engines right now. It must be it must mean that the community behind it is quite quite amazing. Of course, as, as in any community, there are thousands of people. It is impossible to say that all the community is supportive and charming. But well, we could say that the most part of it is quite um good due to the fact that well they have been able to actually uh, keep on uh, creating the good old engine not only in terms of engine development but also in terms of tutorials creation more and more people are starting to use the growth and therefore more and more people are actually sharing their knowledge through video tutorials in other cases, there are even people that are switching from Unity to Godot and making videos about Godot as it is the case with Brachis. So indeed, the community of Godot is just amazing and, and it will never stop growing and growing. 5. Amazing future ahead The pro projections about Godot are just amazing. More and more people start using it every day. For example, we can take a look at the usage of Godot in the latest game jams and we can see that indeed more and more people are using Godot every day. Also, there are other developers that are migrating from Unity to this engine because they trust no more on it. At the same time, uh, there are new updates with fresh features that help us get all the features we need in order to develop the games in the better a way that we can in the best way that we can the growing that we don't have in the last let's say two three years is just been amazing of course it is pretty difficult to actually compete with its main competitors such as unity and unreal because they have been the the industry standard for something like uh, 10 20 day, uh, 20 years but well there is no doubt that uh, Godot has an amazing future ahead and it's an option worth considering right now not only because of the amazing future that it has ahead but also because of the brilliant present that it has so these are probably the five um, main reasons to use Godot over Unity of course which engine specifically to use or to start using um, doesn't only come to a video that you came across in YouTube. It is a decision that evo involves uh, lots and lots of things that you really have to think carefully. But well, here the point was to maybe contrast them a little bit to show you some of the main reasons why people usually choose Godot uh, over Unity, at least to start off and maybe then they switch. But well, there are more and more people that are actually starting using uh, Godot because well all the points because it is super easy because the community is amazing etc 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 so well i hope that you can now consider without as a, an engine to start using or to develop further and if you want more similar content make sure that you are subscribed to the channel see you in the next one and bye bye